Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel e-commerce project tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about implement coupon on cart. So let's see how can we implement the coupon on cart. In previous video, we have created uh, this coupon. Now let's implement this coupon on this cart. Okay, here you can see here the coupon code form. Okay, uh, from here let's apply the coupon on this cart. So for that, uh, first of all, go to the cart, cart controller. So just go inside the app directory, HTTP controllers, and let's open the cart controller. And inside this controller, uh, controller, uh, let's create here a function for applying the coupon code. So right here, public function and function name apply coupon. code and inside this just pass here request as an argument okay dollar request and now uh, first of all let's page here the uh, coupon code from the request so create a variable here coupon underscore code is equal to dollar request arrow coupon code Okay, this one. And now after this fetching the value, coupon code value from the request, uh, first check here, uh, coupon code, uh, coupon uh, code value of the coupon code is null or not. If null, then just return the error value. So for that, just write here, if is it dollar coupon code, okay then uh, process the apply the coupon code uh, method okay otherwise in the else part just return back with the error message error invalid coupon code invalid coupon code okay and now inside the if part uh, first of all let's page here the coupon from the table so right here coupon and uh, coupon model where code is equal to coupon code and then add two more function uh, where condition first where condition uh, for expiry date and another for the card value okay so two more where condition the right here where and uh, column name expiry date expiry date is greater than greater than and equal to uh, carbon let's page here the today date okay so right here today and uh, one more where condition where where cart value cart underscore value is less than and equal to uh, let's uh, fetch the subtotal from the cart so right here cart instance cart instance and set the instance cart and get the subtotal value sub total if cart subtotal is less uh, greater than equal to cart value then if uh, fulfill these three conditions then just fetch the first coupon okay first coupon if not coupon found so just write here if not dollar coupon then simply display here uh, just return back and display this error message okay otherwise let's create here a uh, session variable so write here session colon colon uh, put and inside this just pass here the key coupon 
and then inside the big bracket array just pass here the code type value and card value okay so right here code which is dollar coupon arrow code okay and then type inside the type just pass here the coupon type fixed uh, either fixed or percent okay so coupon and pass here the um, type okay column and type and then value and uh, last one cart value okay now i tell the semicolon and also import this station so for that just write here this one okay illuminate support facade station and now after this uh, let's create one more function for calculating the discount okay so according to this type uh, either we're fixed either either fixed or percent so first create here a function here public function calculate discount okay and inside this just create one variable discount and set here the default value zero and now first check here if session has uh, this coupon key so right here inside the if session colon colon add this coupon key then uh, calculate the discount otherwise inside the else part uh, no need to add here the else part so just remove this inside the if part just uh, right here if first check here the coupon type is a fixed or uh, fixed or percent okay so right here session and get the coupon type okay so first pass here the key coupon and then inside the big bracket just pass here the uh, index name which is type okay and then check for the fixed so equal equal fixed if coupon type is fixed then simply assign the value uh, uh, this value to the discount okay so right here discount is equal to let's copy this and paste here and change the key here to value that's it okay otherwise if coupon type is percentage then just calculate the percentage discount okay so inside the else part just right here dollar discount and uh, let's the calculate so first of all let's get the value from the uh, subtotal value from the cart so right here car, uh, cart column column instance cart and get the subtotal and then multiply with this one coupon value okay and after this just divide the divide by 100 okay subtotal value and multiply by uh, coupon value and then divide by 100 and after this let's create here a three variable first variable subtotal after discount okay is equal to card instance and pass here the instance name card then subtotal and from the subtotal just mass, uh, minus 
just uh, subtract this discount okay and uh, dollar another variable tax after discount is equal to subtotal after discount this one and uh, let's uh, the bracket just write here this one and let's get the tax value so right here config and uh, inside the config just pass here card dot tax okay and then divided by 100 okay and one more variable here dollar total after discount so simply add here subtotal after discount plus tax after discount okay and now create a session and put the value session put and set the key discounts okay and inside the array just pass here discount arrow okay now let's use here the number format so write your number underscore format and inside this just pass here the float value another method float val and uh, then pass here the discount okay and uh, display here the two, uh, two decimal value okay so pass here two dot and uh, is uh, per thousand separator just pass in the blank like this one comma okay and now for subtotal subtotal arrow Let's copy this and paste here and change here the variable subtotal after discount okay and now just pass here the tax so let's copy again and paste here and tax after discount so uh, just copy this variable and paste here and last one total okay and one more time just copy and paste here we okay, move this comma and now let's copy this variable and paste here okay now save this file and uh, let's uh, call this calculate discount function uh, from here okay after this so right here dollar this arrow just calculate discount and after this just return back with uh, with success message so right here success coupon has been applied okay and now save this okay now let's uh, create a route for this uh, function apply coupon code function so go to the web.php file the routes folder web.php and uh, here let's create a, a route here route and uh, method post and URI
we'll just write here card slash apply coupon okay and then controller name which is card controller okay and then class and method name which is apply coupon code okay and now let's give the route name card dot coupon dot apply now let's copy this route name and save the report php file and now go to the card view so just go inside the resources directory views and then let's open the card.blade.php file and inside this file uh, let's find this coupon code form you can see here this is the form for the coupon code applying the coupon code okay so here inside this form uh, you can see here the form action okay now inside this form action start here in the double curly bracket a route and paste here the route name which is cart.apply coupon.apply and method post and inside this form just add the rate at the rate csrf okay and now inside this uh, value input uh, input field value i'll just uh, write here value is equal to first check here if station has a key which is coupon then uh, let's display here double curly bracket station colon colon get and uh, pass here the key name which is coupon and access the code code value okay code and also add here the text applied okay and after this and here the parenthesis if session has coupon value then display this value and just remove this parenthesis here and now uh, close the if so right here in if okay if session has coupon key then display here the coupon code and text applied okay and close here the if directory now uh, let's display here the masses so after this div just add here another div and div and just close this div okay and inside this add the uh, add here the if directive if session has if session has uh, success key then uh, display here a message okay so success message so inside the p tag 
just add here the class text success okay and uh, close this p tag and inside this just display here the message so right here session column column get and pass here the key success okay this one and now add the else part here else else if okay and inside the else if just check uh, for the error so later session column column edge if session has error key then display here the message this so will just copy this and paste here and now close the if directive so right here end if okay error and text uh, change the class text to danger and key error now save this file now it's done so let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page okay session not found okay spelling mistake here so s e double s inside the cart blade file a c double s not double e okay now save this and refresh again okay and now let's apply the coupon code on this card so here is the coupon code so just write here of 20 for discount the uh, fixed 20 dollar okay if card value is uh, equal to or greater than 400 so our card value total is this one okay so put a value this one five five two so just apply here of 20 now just click on apply coupon and you can see here of 20 uh, 20 coupon is applied here okay and here is the success message now let's change here the color this is a very light color so okay this one now let's copy this css rule okay and uh, here on the top of the page let's add here the style tag the style and close this style and paste here okay now you can see the of, of 20 coupon code is applied here uh, after the applying this uh, let's display here the card total okay discounted card total so for that go to the card blade.php file and uh, here inside the card footer you can see here this is the card total so let's display here uh, discounted card total so before this table let's add here if directive if session edge discount key discounts um, this one okay this discounts then display here the discounted card total okay otherwise inside the else part just display here the norm, normal card reader. So close this in if and now let's copy this table and paste inside this if condition. Okay, if director. And let's display here the discounted price. So Uh, 
let's copy this tr and uh, here just paste here and change here the label discount inside the double curly packet session colon colon get coupon okay and uh, pass here the key which is code and now display here the discount so inside the double curly bracket just right here and let's copy this and paste here and change here the key which is discount okay and uh, now display here the subtotal after discount so let's copy this tr again and uh, paste after this discount so right here subtotal after discount and let's copy this and paste here change here the key subtotal okay and uh, here let's uh, display here the tax and total okay so let's change here the total and tax now save this and let's check so you can see here this is the total before this discount applied okay this coupon applied so just refresh the page and uh, okay key discount let's check here the key what is the key discount discounts okay i did one mistake here uh, inside the subtotal this is the card and for discount just add here the key not coupon discounts and also here discounts discounts and discounts not coupon okay because this uh, has session case discounts okay so save this and let's check again this time you can see here the discounted subtotal okay here is the subtotal and discount of 20 coupon okay which is 20 dollar and after discount you can see here the subtotal 552 and minus 20 which is 532 okay and there is the red and total is this one and you can also uh, change here the VAT value which is uh, from the configuration file you can see here inside the config folder cart and this time the default value is 21 you can change here the tax value according to your requirement okay So in this way you can implement the coupon on your card. Uh, so that's all about implementing the coupon on card. So thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.